Hey everyone, we're going to walk you through how to create your own signature line today and add an image to it as well that you can resize to fit the rest of the text. So the first thing that I want to do is this. I want to find an image that I'm going to use and I found it right here. It's on my desktop and I just put it there because it's nice and convenient. A second thing that I want to do is this. I'm going to open up a Chrome web tab and I'm going to find me a color that I want to use for my text. And I want to use Kentucky Blue. So if you are not a Kentucky fan, that's quite all right. This is the same thing that you would do. I would just type in like Kentucky Blue RGB. And right here you have color codes, hex RGB. And we'll click on that. And this is a pretty nice site because it has a lot of different colors that you may want to have, you know, for uh, any of the sports teams that you follow. So right here I have Kentucky and I'm going to look at it. It's Wildcat Blue. It gives me a hex color so you can use that but I'm just going to use the RGB right here that you can find. I'm going to write that down so I can remember it later on. Okay so you can do that for lots of different teams and whatever color scheme you want. So I'm going to close this out and I'm going to go over here to my email and open it up. And you want to go to File, and then go down to Options. Then go to Mail over here on the left-hand side, and then find where it says Signatures and click on Signatures. Now, as you can see, I've already, ha already have an email line set up, and this is the one I use for work. So I'm just going to make a new one to show you the steps that I follow to do this. So I'm going to click on New, and I'm going to type in New email signature and now it gives you a space right here where you can type in all the text that you want so i'm going to type in my name i'm going to type in my position and i'm going to add my twitter handle just because i like to do that on my signature line you can add other things, your phone number, whatever else you want to add, your physical address, your school maybe, and so forth. Now, I'm going to select all this text and make it just a little bit bigger. Um, I like to have it about 12 font, type font at least. And I'm going to make my name even bigger than that, maybe 16. Okay. Now, I'm also going to bold my name because that's really what I'm looking for is that they get to see my name that is responding with that email that I've sent them. Okay, now remember we chose the, that color scheme that we wanted. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm gonna select all of my text here, go over here to where it says automatic. And you can choose any of these colors that you want um, or standard colors, but you can also make your own colors down here. And that's what I like to do. So I'm gonna click on more colors. And I'm going to click on right here where it says custom. And notice you have a choice between RGB and using um, another color model. But you can also type in the hex code down here to get a different color. But what I'm going to do is go right here to put in my colors that I chose with Kentucky Blue. So when I looked at that website, it was zero for the first one. And then it was 51 for green. These numbers are in order, so it's always RGB. So 0, 051, and then the last number was 160. And now you can see that that has changed into my Kentucky blue color. I'm going to press OK here. And now my, my text is actually the font color of Kentucky blue. What you want to do is make sure that you have your cursor in the right place before you add your image. So I'm going to press the Enter button. Maybe give it a little bit more space there too. Okay. Now, you want to go over to this little image right here where it has like a, a picture of like a mountain or, you know, like a landscape. You're used to seeing that picture icon. And then it has like a little monitor or something in front of it. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to find the desktop here. It looks like I'm already there, but you would just scroll up and down until you found your picture. And mine is right there. You all are all used to doing that. I'm going to click on Insert now. And now my picture is right there. Well, it's really big. It's just too big for my signature line. So what I want to do is do a right click on top of that picture and then choose picture. 
And up here at the top, there's several tabs. Click on the one that says size. And I'm going to leave these numbers as they are because those are the original numbers for the size of the graphic. And what I want to do is come down here and change my height. Now, because these are checked, when I change my height, my width is also going to change proportionally. And that's exactly what you want to do. So I'm going to start with something uh, maybe like 40% of the size that I have currently. So I'll press OK. And I can move this up a little bit. It's still pretty large, if you ask me. Um, I'm going to change it a little bit more. So go back to the image. Do a right click on top of it. Click on picture. Click on size. And let's take this down to 30%. Okay, well, I am happy with that size now. Very good. And if you don't want that space right there, you can take it out. Just, just do a little backspace to take it out. Um, you could also add these to the end, and you can play with that if you want. If you want the picture to be here, just play around a little bit more. Notice you can also center it and so forth. Um, those are things that you can try out. So now after I've done that, I want to go up here and choose my default signature. So now for my email account that I have for school, I'm going to go to New Messages, and I'm going to choose the new email signature. And then my replies and forwards, I'm going to choose my new email signature. So when I'm happy with all this, I just press OK. Then I press OK again. And then look, if I go to New Email, there it is right in my signature line. It's showing up right there perfectly. And that is how you add an email signature line to your Outlook email, and you can resize your graphics. Until next time, see you soon.